One of the most common questions that people ask me these days is should they use this kind of no code tools to develop their web apps like bubble.io or this kind of like other no code tools or should they use AI code editors like Cursor AI or Windsurf or Bold.new or Autodev or all of this kind of AI code editors. Well, first of all, let's have a look what bubble.io or this kind of no code app builders are capable of. So bubble.io is one of the most popular no code app builder that has been there since I think 2015, 2016 and it has been very popular and I have seen like a lot of success stories a lot of companies have like built actual products using this kind of no code app builders and then like have secured like a huge kind of investments and made a lot of money using like by developing simple web applications or even complex web applications using bubble.io so this is just like amazing this is an amazing ai not ai but no code app builder i mean you can develop like no code applications just like this this is kind of an interface that it gives you it, it has all of these you can say all of these widgets pre-made widgets that you can use let's suppose if you want to if you want to use like simple input text you can simply just drag and drop and then you can use that or you can simply just maybe oh, hold on let me just log in so you can use like all of these pre-made already built in if you want like and if you want to build like any sort of like functionalities where your application needs like a picture uploader photo uploader or maybe file uploader or any of this kind of like functionalities the basic functionality that you want in your applications you can simply just you don't have to code all of those functionalities you can simply just drag and drop from here and use it inside your application and most interesting thing in this in here is actually like these plugins so you can install all of these plugins have like different kind of functionalities you can have video player in here you can have pdf generator you can have like then like there, there are plenty of uh, almost if you are developing something like applications you can have like um, maybe you can install metamask uh, wallets if you are developing in web3 you can install like stripe integration and all of these integ integrations are you can just use any of these plugins now most of these plugins are paid and some of them are free as well free plugins are also like free to start with and then you can just on long run you can, you'll have to like ultimately pay for on uh, these plugins because ultimately you have to use that and then then you have to pay ultimately so so that means uh the pricing of bubble.io is not what it charges you monthly but whatever functionalities you are using in here or whatever plugins you are using in here you are going to like on long run you are going to pay for that as well so again these plugins are developed by third party just like wordpress if you're if you're aware of wordpress what wordpress is so this ecosystem is very similar to wordpress well i mean bubble.io is far more advanced and modern and has more capabilities than wordpress but this is very similar to wordpress the entire ecosystem but bubble.io is i mean you can build more efficient and more sophisticated web applications in in, in bubble.io so it has like monthly plans if for a normal user you can simply just like use one of these, these plans annual plans are like a bit cheaper and monthly plans are like something like 32 dollars per month and then you can build like mvps you can have your own custom domains if you if you have built something so it will offer you a subdomain like your app name dot .io or if you want to bring your own custom domain you can do that as well and then you can just like have a prediction tools as well or like growth is something that most of the developers use this this uh, this package and then it gives you like a lot more freedom and a lot more tools to use in this package but the problem is again you are still handicapped to whatever options are available out there to use so let's suppose if you want to like build certain kind of functionality which is not available in in their plugins ecosystem you will have to then wait for or like look for another alternative of for, for that functionality or maybe you can just like you know you'll have to maybe custom code i'm not sure if you can do that in bubble.io but still i mean you are still handicapped just like in wordpress we are handicapped in so many options just like to implement a simple feature you'll have to like buy a lot of plugins to to have that simple feature but tools like cursor.io uh, sorry cursor ai or bold.new or windsurf i think you don't need to be handicapped for, for tools like like i mean you can build all of these functionalities on all of these widgets with a simple one command in cursor or in windsurf and then the, you got access to the entire code base and now if you want if you want to like build something very particular very like the, that may be not available in something like bubble.io's plugins marketplace but you can build that in in cursor or windsurf the way you want so you're not handicapped to like this plugin marketplace or something like this but still i mean 
this offers you more convenient way to build web applications because in cursor ai or in windsurf and bold art new york still going to develop your backend and that can actually like you can spend a lot more time in building backend but then there are tools like lovable so in lovable now you can actually in lovable you can connect that directly with your super base and then you can build your backend very easily so there is an entire tutorial about lovable on my youtube channel you can watch that that how you can build backend seamlessly without like writing any code for backend you can see so like use lovable and then you can build your backend seamlessly using superbase so you can definitely you can do that and similarly in cursor if you want to like build your backend you can do that but you'll have to like now understand the entire what you're actually going to build let's suppose you're using next.js so you can build backend you can like build backend in express or in a node but you'll still have to like aware of all of that but in bubble.io this is not the case everything is built for you you can simply just use their like drag and drag and drop functionalities and then you can just build use something like air tables and then integrate air tables inside bubble.io and then build your databases and backends and uh, all of that stuff but you want something like out of the box if you're building something that is not uh, like those functionalities are not available or you, you don't want to use or pay for this these plugins then it can just be like i mean very difficult for you to build something out of the box but i mean all of these plugins are available here they, these are you can like integrate apis you can like anything that you can imagine you can find a plugin related to that on bubble.io most of the times in very like in in, in, in some cases you, you you won't find anything but most of the times you can find but another major problem that you'll find if you're building a mobile application so currently you cannot build mobile applications inside bubble io we'll have to then look for something else like, like another no code app builder something like flutterflow to build mobile applications but that application that you'll make built in flutterflow will not be synchronized with, with bubble.io and then you'll have to integrate both of these flutterflow and bubble.io using another plugin and then it's just like bunch of plugins that are running your application if, if anything breaks your application breaks so you don't get freedom so they are actually building this like uh, this native mobile application development feature feature it's not there yet but there is a uh, like you can join the waiting list but still there is no need to be handicapped if you want to like build something out of the box or something that you don't need to rely on a third party application or third party plugin you can simply just build something uh, very sophisticated very cool in in cursor or in Windows or far in, in bolt art new i highly highly recommend you that if you're starting right now you should use and get used to of i have like made plenty of tutorials about how you can build backend using cursor uh if you're building like a simple application in cursor you can build backend for your application i have made plenty of like beginner friendly tutorial you can just watch that because the problem that you can face in cursor that you might not be able to like develop backend the way you want you the, the functionality that you that the way you want so i have again like created a lot of tutorials about that that how you can plan your project and then go step by step to build your application the way you want so i highly highly recommend you that if you want to like if you're entering in this space of like building web, web, web apps and then in future you are looking to maybe not only develop web apps but you're actually now want to go to job market as well so in bubble for bubble.io there's there's a very limited job market you cannot like there are too many options because at the end of the day this is not something that that companies are looking for companies are looking for like full stack web developers full stack app developers so for that you will have to like somehow interact with code though you are not like going to write the syntax of the code but you you'll still have to like use tools like cursor or windsurf or like this kind of tools to maybe use the existing code base and build something out of it so once you come to like a web development ecosystem once you start with let's suppose next.js or burn stack or any other stack so you still like have plenty of options you there's still like a lot of options for you to like go to like be ready for job market using using these ai code editors without writing code so i think the best way is to like use cursor and use windsurf and these ai code editors to build your web applications rather than using bubble.io my personal opinion i'm i'm not saying that you should do that way but this is my personal opinion that there is no need of being hand handicapped to like an a drag and drop tool and uh, to wordpress because all of the people who used to like create websites in wordpress they were handicapped because there were like basic functionalities that they couldn't do in wordpress without using third party application so this this is being handicapped so if you don't want to be handicapped as a web developer if, if you want freedom to develop whatever you want go with cursor learn like choose any uh, any any stack choose maybe one stack or maybe go with next.js and then go with superbase and next.js and then build your full stack applications and then get rid of being 
handicapped this was my two cents on that your opinion can be different my opinion is this also cost wise it is cheaper to use something like cursor and windsurf because windsurf is only $10 cursor is $20 so and this bubble.io is $30 a month so cost wise it is cheaper but there is another cost which is hidden cost which is using these plugins that cost is again like an extra cost on top of what you are paying monthly so i highly highly recommend you like if you want to be if you want to build something sophisticated something that you can actually rely on something that you have complete control on so build something in cursor or windsor for these kind of a coordinators i see you next video bye bye